Hey there, Adam here. Today I wanted to do a very short video on how and why to use the alias function in Obsidian. So the alias function is quite simply a way to make an alternate title or alternate name linked to the same uh, Obsidian note. So perhaps the easiest way to do this is just to give you an example. I uh, And also, I uh, just so you know, it's a little bit finicky. You have to do a, a YMAL, uh, or YAML, Y-A-M-L, that's what that stands for, I uh, header. So I'll show you how that works. So let me just jump to my personal YouTube channel. So I started a personal YouTube channel, and then you're going to see right here, you've got three dashes to open, three dashes to close. This is basically your metadata section uh, that you can create. It's an optional section. You don't have to have a metadata section, but if you want to do an alias, you have to do it like this. There's no other way to do it right now. Uh, there, One of their blog posts did say specifically they may make this easier. But to do an alias, you just do an open bracket. You do aliases, semicolon, open bracket, and then the comma separates them. So this, I have two different aliases for this personal YouTube channel page or note. So it's personal YouTube or Adam Melrose YouTube. So if I wanted to link to this personal YouTube channel note, I could do either Adam Melrose YouTube, and you're gonna see that this is the actual uh, way it's gonna link. It's gonna put a dash or a straight line in between the uh, actual name of it and then the alias. But you're gonna see that it's gonna call it Adam Melrose YouTube, but if I click on it, it's gonna take me to personal YouTube channel. So a really clean way to do this, a more practical example, I mean, I think this is practical in its, in its own way, but uh, let's just say one of my favorite business books I've read recently, it's called The $100 Million Offer. That's the actual name of the book, The 100M Offer. But let's just say that this is excessive. I just want to call it 100M most of the time when I talk about it, but for my actual literature note, I want to have the correct name. So I'm going to type in aliases, open bracket, 100M, close bracket. So now... You're going to see, oops, well, if I click off that, there we go. So now you're going to see I, if I use it, let's just go back to here again. So I can just do now 100M. And that's what it's going to be called in the document, 100M. It's shorter. It's cleaner. I, some people, if you're a little uh, neurotic about it, like I am, I you may have the note as a singular or a plural. You may just want to create... A uh, alias for the singular plur plural version, if that really bugs you to have the link be the wrong pluralization of that word, then go for it. Uh, so that that's sort of it. Very nice and short video. Uh, I hope this explained it. And again, just so we can go through the syntax, the syntax is the important part. You have to do a YAML metadata section. It has to be at the very top of your page. And it's three dashes to open, three dashes to close, alias with a semicolon, and then an open and close bracket. If you want to have more than one alias for the same page, you just do a comma in between the aliases. All right, thank you very much. Bye.